Do you also sometimes have weekends where you felt you've truly recharged, you are so productive, you've done exactly what you wanted to do, and there's this feeling of satisfaction? So this is exactly how I felt after this weekend. And what I noticed, what actually made it possible and what made the biggest difference for my weekends is on Friday evening or Saturday morning, I sit down with my boyfriend and we talk about what would actually make this weekend a great one. What do we want to get done? Do we want to take it easy? Do we want to do workouts? Do we want to do some work? If some work, what is exactly what we want to get done? And having that clarity has been incredible because then you set your intention for the weekend. So even if it is a relaxing one when you just plan to take naps and don't do much, then at the end of the weekend you still feel fulfilled because that was the intention for the weekend. The intention was not to get a lot of work done and you don't feel frustrated that you actually didn't do work done because you set your intention for actually a chilled weekend and you've achieved your goal. And sometimes when the intention is the opposite of actually being very productive, you also set it and you, instead of focusing your attention on many tasks, you say what would be the tasks or a few tasks that actually if you had those done, that would make the biggest difference and would make you feel like you've had a great weekend. And having that clarity has been so helpful because then you know exactly how you'd like to spend your weekend. You know exactly what would make it a great one. And you can distribute those tasks between Friday afternoon, Saturday, Sunday. And in the end, on a Sunday evening, you can just also recap and see how it turned out to be. And the closer you get to your intention, the more the more of a feeling of this fulfillment, satisfaction you get. And I find it incredible. We've been practicing it now for a few weekends in a row and I find it's one of the biggest game changers. And I'm actually thinking now that I should also do it for the week as well or for the days because having such a clarity on what exactly I want to do this week, what is my intention, how I'd like to spend it and what are the main activities, when our brains have that clarity, they just go after it and uh, it results in such an amazing feeling afterwards because we're stuck with our intention. So I hope this episode helps you organize your life a bit better. Ask yourself those important questions before the day starts, before the weekend starts and also have an amazing day because an amazing day will an amazing hour will add up to an amazing day an amazing day will add up to an amazing weekend an amazing weekend will end up to add up to an amazing week an amazing week to an amazing year months etc you see where i'm going with that and that's what life truly is those small moments those small constituent parts of a bigger picture so i hope that this episode encourages you to be clear with your intentions and set them ahead of time and truly have an incredible day, incredible weekend, week, month, life. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope that this episode was helpful and I hope to see you in the next one tomorrow.